Hi there, my name's Jason Mangle. I'm obviously a urologist in Washington, D.C. I thought I'd take the time to tell you a little bit about myself. I actually grew up in the area. I grew up in Wheaton, Maryland. Um, graduated from a school called Landon here, and then I went to college at University of Virginia. I went to medical school at the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia, and then I trained at Northwestern University in Chicago. And my interests really have really from day one been largely surgically based. Not all urologists do such major surgeries. Uh, I had special expertise in laparoscopy when I came to town here and reconstructive urology. So uh, I primarily uh, built a practice that has been centered around academia and working at George Washington University. Um, and in that, in that vein, they had asked me uh, to adopt robotic surgery uh, early on because George Washington was the first to buy a robot and use a surgical robot. So since 2004, I have been performing uh, robotic surgery on a very regular basis. Uh, I was considered a very early adopter. I lived through the period of establishment of robotic surgery as the predominant way to do surgery, especially for prostate cancer. And in so doing, I have, uh, I think it's safe to say, been considered now a prostate cancer expert, but my expertise and my interests don't really uh, stop there. The uh, other interests that I've always had have been reconstructive in nature, so I do urethral reconstruction and penile reconstruction and kidney reconstruction. I uh, have been academic in the past. I've probably written upwards of 23 papers, and uh, much of the research that I've done in practice uh, since the year 2000 has been centered on my work with prostatectomy and its outcomes. I've always been known as somebody that's very uh, straightforward and honest about outcomes because I generally, with all of my patients, see them back. So I uh, pride myself in being very honest and open about outcomes because I'm also going to be the person that helps you with problems afterwards, such as erectile dysfunction and incontinence after prostate cancer treatments. Uh, I've done many operations in Washington, D.C. that were the first to be done in Washington, D.C., which would include certain laparoscopic procedures, kidney procedures, of which I do many. Certainly robotic surgery is something I'm very adept at, and I've done many of, probably 3,000 at this point. I have gone back to my roots in many ways in going back to doing complicated, varied surgeries. So I pride myself now in fixing my patients' incontinence. I find myself uh, treating many office things that I didn't treat before back when I was primarily doing robotic surgery full-time. So my primary interest and what I probably find most gratifying is certainly uh, treating cancer and doing cancer surgery, but oftentimes just helping a patient with the stress of uh, and the anxiety of fears over cancer or the anxieties of what happens when sexual dysfunction is affecting their relationships or incontinence or other things uh, that I can reverse easily for them. That's what gives me the most gratification.